matrix calculator. We have heard of arrays in recent art classes. So what is actually a matrix? Matrix has two dimensions, rows and columns. And we can consider array is also a matrix because it has also rows and columns. So we, if we can print, then it, uh, array can be printed as a matrix. And that we have done. We have used matrix algebra, we have done addition, multiplication, subtraction. And whether it's possible or not, program will also say that. So uh, group members are me, Shandri Bhasharya and Srinita Shama. Can we move this here? So these are some sample outputs like for subtraction. Our program will ask for the rows and columns as we can see here, 2 plus 2. So 2 plus 2 will have 4 elements. So it's asking element 1, 2, 3, 4. It will also denote the number so that we can understand and have a guess of how many elements will be in four. We will second will also happen like that. Then it will be asking for what we actually want to do, like for 1 for addition, for uh, subtraction, 3 for multiplication. We have done 2 here, so it will give an uh, example like this. Next, we can move towards the next slide. Same for the multiplication, we will jump right to the code to explain it. But this is some sample output, like here we have taken some matrices. We have done mat uh, multiplication and it is given the output. Let's jump right into the code. So let's start. We have included. Can we zoom uh, zoom in a bit? Yes. So as we can see, we have included standard input or output. For example, if we have want to take scan air for anything, we have used the uh, stdr.h. Second, we have included stdlib.h. That's standard library. We have used once the exit function in our program, and for that we have used this. Now let's jump into the main function. We have taken three metrics. Now two metrics we will be asking as input from the user. What is the dimension? What are the rows and columns? And what are its elements? Third one, it will be the yeah, output matrix. For example, if you are adding the final product, the final matrix obtained after adding will be stored in the matrix three. Now don't uh, we need not think that okay all matrix will be three plus three as we have mentioned it. It's just an initial element. We can change it later. When we will see that. I will uh, explain some of the variables we have taken. For example, there is a choice variable which will actually take a choice. What we want to do with the matrix for addition, subtraction, or whatever. I, J, K for running the loops and patterns as we know. A and B will be for a, a specific cause like we will say enter element 1. So how to count that? We have used A and B. Rows 1, rows 2 of matrix. Or rows 1 of matrix 1, columns 1 of matrix 1. Rows 2 of matrix 2, columns 2 of matrix 2. Now let's come to the code. Can we take it off of it? Yes. So as we have asked, enter number of rows and columns in matrix. Let us first, uh, yeah, as we have given here, enter number of rows. So let's give something. Shrita, can you give some rows and columns? Yes. So she has given 3 and 3. That means the dimension of the matrix object will be 3 cross 3. So we can calculate the number of elements will be 3 into 3 equal to 9. So now this will be asking 9 times for elements. Give the elements, you know? 1, 2, like it will be giving and it will be counting how many elements it's given. And it will go as long as we want. Like if we went for 3 cross 4, it will ask for 12 times. It's completely user based. Now it's asking for the matrix 2. Let's give anything. She has given 2 cross 3. So now 6 elements will be given. Give it up. Enter the elements. Now we can see this is a 3 cross 3 matrix. It's printing in that format. And this is a 2 cross 3 cross 2 matrix. It is printing in that format. Now let's see the code. If we see it's asking for example, it's very easy that we will find the index of the element in that matrix. For example, this is a 2 matrix, 2D matrix. So we will find the element position of the element of i row and j row. So we have taken two uh, for loops, first one i, inside that j, enter element for the matrix 1. This will be stored at matrix 1 dot i position, that's i and j. That means i row j column gets the element 1. Second, uh, let's move a bit, move a bit up. We can see we have some done the same here for rows 2, columns 2. We will get the corresponding element at i row and j row. Let's uh, go below. Operation we want to perform. Here, uh, 
if we press 1, we will get uh, addition of matrices. For 2, we will get subtraction. For 3, multiplication. And if we press 0, we will uh, go out of the program. Now, first, we will enter our choice. We will enter which performance, uh, which perform we want to do. So, if we enter case 1, so in uh, case 1, it will show addition of matrices. So, before running the uh, matrices, they will check that rows 1 is equal to rows 2 and columns 1 is equal to columns 2. That is, if we enter the matrices 3 into 3 for uh, in matrix 1, if our rows and columns are 3 and 3 for matrix 2, it will be, also be 3 into 2. It must be 3. So, now, uh, in the loop, we see here that i value is 0 and j value is 0, 0 here. So, the matrix 3, 0, 0, they will store the position over here, 0, 0. Over here. Now, now as, we, uh, as we see here that here there are 3 into 3 and here there are 2 into 3 so it doesn't multiply because the, the number of rows and number of columns weren't equal over here. So here uh, now you can say uh, number of rows is 3 so 9 values we can do over here and for matrix 2 here are also 9 values to be entered. So as we see they are arranged in this way. So now So for example Yes For example we have given here the choice 2. So the choice 2 will calculate that choice to be calculated as uh, subtraction part. So here they will also check that row, uh, there are equal number of rows and equal number of columns but they are not equal. So uh, here i is equal to change j is 0, 0. So the value that will be calculated over here this portion is called 0, 0. So here that is 1 minus 1 is calculated that is matrix 1 is 0, 0, 0 position is and matrix 2 0, 0 position is this. So 1 minus 1 here is 0. In the same way, here 2 minus 2 is calculated as 0 as 3 minus 35 as minus 32. So uh, now the j's value after this loop is completed, the j's value will be 2. So when k is equal to 2 plus 1, that is k becomes 3. So if k columns mod is equal to 1, they will move into the new line and will start the addition from the new line. Addition and subtraction from the new line. In, this, in the same way, if we are calculating over here, so here the j's value is 1. Sorry, j's value is n is the number of rows of the first matrix and p is the number of columns in the second matrix. We can see that in what here. The first for loop that I have taken, it's coming for rows 1, but when it's going for columns, it's going for column 2. So that's why we get the forming dilution of the forming matrix. If it was a 3 cross 2 matrix in matrix 1 and 2 cross 3 in matrix 2, we get 3 cross k in matrix 3. That's why it's getting calculated. Now, our logic is that every time when we are moving, we will consider, we will go to the i -th and j position of i -th row and j column. We will uh, initialize this at 0. Then we will add, we will take a k loop that will go up to n, m, n, n, p. So n is the number of columns in the first matrix or rows in the second matrix. That's equal. Not a matter. So we have taken k equal to 0, k less than columns 1. We could also write rows 2 here. No issue. We saw that we will do matrix of i row and j position plus equal to matrix of i comma k plus k comma j. This will take the first matrix that position and uh, second matrix that position. It will go up to the number of times of n. So we first, for example, when I gave this one, let's take a 3 cross 3 very easy. Same here, I am taking the same matrix. So first when I am writing this i equal to 0, i less than 1, it's entering the axis here. Next when I am going j less than column 2, it's going here, the column 2 are same here. If I take, now I take a third loop, which will initialize the sum as 0. This is actually a sum of what? 
the k loop will act and do the sum of plus means s equal to s plus this into this then this into this then this into this this work will be done by the k loop now we can move there the our main function is done so we will store this every time at the i to and z position so we will get the multiplication product let's move down a bit and this is very simple we will go to the i to z position we will print that if as we had the uh, equation m and n cross k if this is not equal our program will print number of columns in the matrix one is not equal to the number of rows in matrix two so multiplication is not possible because we will get we won't get the matrix of this this product is only possible when n to n is same uh, thank you very good very good shut up